We made this short video of, well, you will see what it is. Um, just wanted to make sure that we all understand what the seven point posture of Valochana is exactly. Uh, we, we try our best to maintain this posture when we do actually any kind of sitting meditation as not only does it uh, you know keep our minds fresh uh, and alert but it also um, it also promotes focus it promotes calm so here it is me gombo he has willingly volunteered to help show us how to do the seven point posture at least that's what we planned gombo yeah we're on Step 1. The legs. We sit with the legs crossed right over the left in the Vajrasana. Right over the left. Yes, perfect. If it's not possible to maintain the Vajrasana, at least we need to make sure that we sit with the weight of the body evenly distributed, not leaning on the one side or the other. That's better. If you have a cushion, do you have one? There we go. We can always use it to give a supporting elevation if that helps. If sitting cross-legged on the floor is not possible and we go for a chair, at least we make sure not to slouch back like we're watching TV on a couch. But rather we sit forward slightly and keep the legs even. Step 2. The hands. It's best to have the hands in the mudra of meditative equipoise, which is right on top of the left, with the thumbs joined together at the level of the abdomen. The abdomen. No, the abdomen. The abdomen. Go down. Go down. Up, 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 up. Yeah, right. That's it. Right there. Step 3. The dorso. The lower abdomen should be a little firm to support the upright posture, but the upper abdomen should be relaxed to support the free movement of the diaphragm for tranquil breathing. With the shoulders and arms balanced, like the wings of a swan ready to take flight. Yeah, ready to take flight, not actually flapping. Step 4. The Spine The spine must be totally upright, that is, straight, but not rigid maintaining the back's natural contours. Step 5. The chin. The chin is slightly tilted downwards, graceful like a swan, but not jutting the neck forward at all. Step 6. The eyes. Our eyes are best focused on the tip of the nose. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Good. With the eyelids only slightly open for a relaxed gaze that won't be distracted by any outer objects. I said any, any, any outer objects. Yep, even that, Gompo. But we don't need them tightly closed as that can make us dull and fuzzy. Hey, we're still rolling here. Wake up. Finally, step seven, the tongue. We slightly curl our tongue upwards to the palate which moderates the flow of saliva without contracting the jaw muscles. Okay, I think we finally got it. Well done. The main thing we need in maintaining the most conducive kind of um, posture for meditation like this is uh, the close placement of mindfulness of body. Yeah, And remember, these points, they're supposed to help us. They're supposed to... And they're supposed to be helpful references and not, not a checklist that makes us inferior practitioners, inferior meditators, um, you know, if our health doesn't allow us to tick all the boxes. So when we cultivate the close placement of mindfulness of body, then it's the felt sense of body in the present moment and not, not the not the anatomical definition of it in our mind's eye. So use these references um, for a continual process of relating to the whole sense of body, uh, you know, the, sol uh, the solidity, uh, as well as the fluidity, the warmth, the space, and the electricity of it.